I'm Matt Piper. I'm the Propeller Head Product Specialist for Line 6. And I'm here at GearWire to show you Reason 5 and Record 1.5. So now, since I am in the Record Plus Reason environment, I can show you the new Reason devices uh, just as easily as the new Record device. So the first thing I want to show you is the Kong Drum Designer. So the basic idea here, and I have my nifty pad controller here, is that each one of these pads is semi-modular. So you can first choose your sound source for the pad. Synth bass drum, synth hat, synth snare, synth tom, or physical modeling drums like the physical modeling bass drum has all sorts of detailed parameters for things like beater density and shell level. Uh, there's also physical modeling snare drum and tom. And then you have the Nurse Rex uh, loop player here. So you can actually play an entire loop on a pad, or you can put it in slice trigger and uh, map slices across pads, or you can put it in chunk trigger mode and play a portion of the loop on one pad and copy that, paste that, and play another portion on another pad. Uh, or across as many pads as you like. And we have the NN Nano Sampler, which looks like a little NN XT. And here's where you can do some live sampling. And just like that, I've got a snap on that pad. So this live sampling exists in all the sample-based reason devices. I've got it in NN19. It's in NNXT, the advanced sampler. And by the way, there's a dedicated sample editor here. Um, so you can set your start and end points any way you like, although they are automatically set, fade in, fade out, reverse, cross-fade, loop, uh, that sort of stuff. Very quick and easy. And finally, every channel of Redrum has live sampling, so you can very quickly uh, load up those channels with any kind of sounds you like. Once you've chosen the sound source that you want to use, then you have a bunch of new effects uh, that you can put in here, ring modulator, there's a tape echo, uh, drum room reverb, uh, all sorts of things. So basically, two effects and a sound generator uh, on every drum pad. And then you've also got uh, bus effects and master effects here. Now you can record Kong uh, directly into the sequencer, uh, as you normally would, just the, the linear uh, reason record sequencer. But you could also make a bunch of patterns in the new blocks mode, which uh, is a new feature in Reason 5 and Record 1.5. Um, so let me slow down to this tempo to something I might be able to handle. Um, you could make any sort of beat that you like. All right, I can feel it. It's going to be a hit. All right. Um, you could make another beat like that. You could copy that beat, choose another block. Um, I'm going to just paste that brilliant piece of rhythm programming in here. And then, you know what? It, need? it needs some, some hand claps. How about that? Um, so I could, I could record whatever. Is this a hand clap? I don't know where the darn claps are. All right, it's got a couple of randomly placed toms there, which, you know, makes people think, you know, why did they put the toms there? It's a sense of mystery. And so now that I have a couple of brilliant rhythm blocks, I can go back to the song view. And if I've got my pencil tool selected here, I've got a blocks drop down. And I can draw in block one for as many measures as I like. And I can draw in block two for as many measures as I like. And you don't have to make beats in the blocks view. You could record your band in the blocks view. You could have a verse section, chorus sections in the blocks view. Um, 
But anyway, you draw these in anywhere you like them. Then if you want to edit one of them, you go back into the blocks view and make any sort of edit you would like. And then in the song view, that edit will be populated as many times as that block occurs in the song. Now let's say you wanted to just change one of these blocks without changing all the other ones. Then you can just convert block clips to song clips, and now I can edit just this block without changing the other instances of block one. The other new reason device that I want to show you is the Dr. Octorex loop player. This replaces Dr. Rex. Any songs you've made with Dr. Rex will load fine into this. They'll just use the first loop slot. But now you've got eight loop slots. And there's a lot of new uh, nice sounding loops that several very talented producers have contributed here, as they have also done for the Kong kits. And we'll see what we've got here. OK. Now, if I want to automate these, it's quite easy to do. I can just uh, create a pattern loop lane. And then, again, I've got a drop down similar to the blocks drop down. And people who use redrum patterns uh, are going to recognize this. Now I've got the eight loops here. So I can choose whatever loop I want and draw it in for as many measures as I need it. Choose another loop. And then you'll see it change up here. OK, so that's how you do that. But that is only half the fun uh, with Dr. Octorex. The other half is slice edit mode. OK, I'm going to just reverse a few of these. I can draw right in the waveform. I can play with the pan. I can mess with the pitch. And I can basically make a mess of this in a hurry. Uh, can also change the uh, decay and the level. And I've also got eight separate outputs here. So I can just choose my snare slices if I want to and send those through an extra, a different pair of outputs and send that through a big W reverb if I want to. And I've also got alt groups. So I could, for instance, select the snares and put them in alt group one. And then when I play the loop back, everything in alt group one will randomly shuffle amongst itself and uh, keep the loop sounding fresh uh, instead of just being exactly the same each time it plays. So. There are a bunch of little new features that I haven't even mentioned uh, to make your life more pleasurable using Record and Reason. But we've covered the big ones, the Kong Drum Designer, Dr. Octorex, the Neptune Pitch Adjuster and Voice Synth, and uh, Live Sampling, and Blocks. So thanks for checking it out. <laughs>